Just because somebody lives in a lavish big home or drives a Bentley or has a phenomenal watch on their wrist doesn't mean they have life figured out. Maybe they have a couple assets, maybe they have money, but if money is all you have, then you don't have much. And I think that social media has done a terrible job at making people realize that this material thing that we live in, this material possessions that we can acquire is the end all of happiness. And that you're supposed to have a Lamborghini when you're 18 or 19, and if you're not, you're a loser. I was listening to an interview that uh, Pavel Durov from Telegram uh, did recently. He said, I've never bought a supercar. I don't have super yachts. I live in Airbnbs. I just want freedom. And I'm like, okay, this guy that's a multi-billionaire, been buying Bitcoin over the last 10 years, understands the fundamental premise of, I don't want things to own me, right? I want to own things. I don't want these things to own me. So understands how to manage his materialistic desires. But in social media, I think it's very easy to see somebody else's life and think that they have it all figured out. When in reality, we're all still trying to figure it out. Look for those content creators that, that aren't here to sell you a lifestyle, but that want to empower you with becoming the best version of yourself, which is why I love this podcast, because it's based on happiness, self-development and business, which are the fundamental keys to living a good life. And you've had different aspects of entrepreneurs and had a plethora of people. And I think that it's uh, very healthy to find those people that are real and authentic because authenticity is the premise of a life well lived because if you don't have authenticity, then you've lost yourself in the process. And I think that's the biggest issue that we face nowadays with, with men, the comparison uh, that ultimately leads to the killing of joy.